Hello guys, it's Static here and today is going to be the first episode of my uh, HVH videos where I'll be teaching you how to HVH and today the first weapon I'm going to teach you how to use is the Scout uh, Back in the day, we didn't really use double tap on the Scout We just always used fake like and just peek like this Which apparently nowadays in HVH doesn't really work anymore because everybody is double tapping with Scout or ideal ticking So for all the new gens that uh, joined in and want to learn how to scout in HVH, I'm gonna teach you everything and how to do it really well. But firstly, obviously, you need a good cheat. I'm gonna be using Primordial in this video, but you can use Game Sense, you can use Never Lose, you can use One Tap, whatever you want. And if you're using a crack, make sure to take a little bit more care because um, going for head doesn't really work with three cheats all the time because they miss a lot because the resources are shit. So, if you're using a free cheat or maybe a paste, try to go for ch uh, chest and stomach only. So, if you're using Primordial, you can pretty much copy my Convict. The most important things you need in your Convict is a good hit chance. I recommend a hit chance of 80, which for me is really, really good. If you're using one tap, maybe go for 80 or 83. But uh, anything between 80 and 85 should be alright for ideal taking. The minimum damage for me is going to be dynamic, so HP for Primordial. Um, and for the hitboxes, what's very important is you need um, at least head, chest, and stomach. Except if you're using a paste or free cheat, I don't recommend head. So, but yeah, for primordial, head, chest, and stomach is the bare minimum. But you can also add limbs, such as arms, legs, and feet if you want. I prefer to turn them on because it should way quicker when I'm um, overriding my min damage. So, yeah, whatever you want. If you want to hit quickly... Turn on uh, arms, legs, and feet if you don't want to hit quickly and peek a little bit farther. Turn it off. For multi points, head, chest, and stomach. If you're using a free cheat or paste, turn off head, please. For the max head po uh, multi point skill, um, 72 is pretty good, but you can use anything between 70 and 75, which will work very well for you. For max body multi point skill, use anything between 60 or 65. It doesn't really matter, I use uh, 62. Uh, prefer hitbox in primordial i just use head but if you're using uh, a different cheat that doesn't really hit head that well just turn on um body or or, or your chest stomach whatever and uh, save hitboxes is arms for me because i otherwise tend to like miss a lot all right um for the anti-aim you can just pretty much copy my settings here if i go to stand yeah you can just copy my settings here if you're using primordial Okay, and then I also recommend binding a double tap to a mouse button so you can quickly access your button, turn it off and on because we're going to be turning it on and off while playing. And what I also recommend is um, binding your auto peek to your mouse buttons. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn off the um, damage override and you want to make sure your double tap is on whenever you're going to peek the person with 100 HP. If they are 77 HP, you can just basically turn it off and just like this. Because you are fake lagging, if you're peeking this quickly, they're not going to be able to hit you at all. So, turn on double tap. Alright, and whenever your double tap is enabled, you're also going to make sure you're scoped. And then hold your auto peek button. I recommend uh, putting auto direction on as well, so whenever you're peeking, your head is going to be hidden behind the wall. Which is pretty OP, so they cannot hit your head and maybe only bame you if they do tend to hit you. So, double tap on, auto peek on, auto direction uh, is, you know, own preference, and just simply peek the player. And as you can see, what happened is I peeked and I TP'd back. So, I'm peeking, I'm uh, choking a tick and I'm getting TP'd back. Plus, I'm also having break like comp, so they cannot hit me at all. So, you can tell that this is pretty OP. Maybe you've already experienced it whenever you're playing with a scout player, you're just standing here and they peek like this and boom, they're TPing back and you cannot hit them at all. That's what ideal ticking is. It's really easy to use, but you have to get used to it. Just like so. If you do tend to, to maybe bame, so you are peeking and you are baming, what you want to do, if you did hit him, if he's still hit 100 HP, I don't recommend doing this, but if you hit him and he's like under 92 HP, 
turn off double tap and instantly peek back. Because that's fucking OP. You are see peeing back and then whenever you are turning off double tap, you are shooting way quicker than whenever you are using uh, whenever you are keeping double tap enabled all the time. So I'm gonna try to uh, demonstrate this. I'm gonna turn on double tap and min damage override. So it's gonna bane for me, hopefully. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peek, I'm gonna peek back. And then I'm gonna turn off my double tap and instantly peek back again. So you'll notice I will shoot way quicker than normal. Okay. So you can see that's way quicker than normal. It's basically double tapping with scout and it's uh, really OP. Okay, what is also important for whenever you are going to ideal tick is you really have to uh, make use of your utilities, so your nades your nades make them low and you can easily bane them which is basically free kills and what's also very important is whenever you are as example standing in in palace and someone is standing here on stairs is you really got to be able to bait the players to, to peek their body so you can ideal take them because if you're gonna stand here and you're just gonna wait they're not gonna peek so what you have to what you have to do is like maybe make these quick peeks so people are actually going to try and kill you. What I always do, always whenever you're watching content of mine, you will see me beoping all the time and, and quick peeking like this. Be quick and then maybe people peek full because they think they can kill me. And then I just ideal pick and shit their head off. Very good example is right over here. Is whenever I'm standing here, people are standing stairs. They are always standing in the fake duck. And whatever I do is I just stand here. I just make small peeks like this. And then I watch my champs, and if they are committed to peeking, sometimes I turn my camera, if they are committed to peeking, I just peek as well, with the min damage override, and then I shoot them. And I, I TP back, and I just keep doing that until they're dead. I'm not using the double tap turn off trick here, because it's pretty risky here. I'm just, I'm just always using double tap and just TPing him back, and then doing as much damage as I can. So if you are ever finding yourself in the situation here where people are standing on stairs, make sure you turn on your your min damage override because otherwise it's not really gonna work. It's gonna be really hard to kill people. You if you want my convic, you can send me a DM on Discord. My D Discord is in the description and I will send you the convic. Yeah, I gotta be a few examples of me um, playing in the H. I just tried to bait him and just ideal tick him. And at the end, I just turned it off because he was bimbo. As you can see here, my... My movement is really quickly, I play very aggressive, which can confuse the enemy really hard, so when ideal taking, having good movement and being aggressive is very important in my, my eyes. Wait, so why do you like, to, oh yeah, you like tabs uh, so much because you made YouTube videos with them. As you can see, people are just simply not shooting me back because I'm just TPing so quickly that they don't even have the chance to predict me. Don't be scared, I'm gonna warn you. What, what, what? You can see me walking back here, so I'm trying to get this player to walk near me. Or walk at least to me, so I can just simply peek him and kill him. But as you can see, he's not letting himself bait, so I'm just going back. And as you can see, I'm just b upping to him. And whenever he is about to peek, I just turn off my double tap, so I TP once again, and he may miss me. Here I got a 5k, and just see how I am handling this, uh, this situation here. This guy is just playing with his knife, so it gave me the opportunity to, to peek to the pillar. And I'm just, as you can see, baiting him and shooting him. This is another good example to using your surroundings, using your bomb to bait the player. Uh, I wanted to buy Astra. I mean, so yeah, it's kinda new, so... Uh, try to notice here how I'm using my double tap in the first peak and then I turn it off and I get fake lag and I just simply kill the guy with a simple bane. You can see on the second kill I turn off my double tap which makes me teleport which can sometimes be very useful if you wanna peek these corners like this.
that's gonna be it for this video if you have questions you can always dm me on discord or leave a comment under the comment section and then i'll probably see you in the next video about the auto bye bye primordial esoteric